Hey there, I'm Beth from My Tutoring Bee, and I just wanted to show you a quick tool that you can use when you're trying to find factors for numbers. And this tip is especially comes in handy with those larger numbers. So I'm going to show you how doubles and halves works with factors of numbers. So let's say you're trying to find all of the factors for the number 72. Well, we know that 1 and 72 are factors, right? For any number, 1 and itself are both factors of that number. So what we can do is double one number, so times 2, which gives us 2, and then we have the other number, or divide by 2, and then half of 72 is 36. Okay, so we can do it again. If we double 2, we can get 4, and if we have 36, then we can get 18. And 4 times 18 is 72. Now, I left a little space here on purpose because this can even work with triples or quadruples. As long as you triple one number and can evenly divide the other number by 3, then this will still work in the same way. So, for example, if we, instead of doubling, if we tripled times 3, then when we do the opposite with 72, we divide by 3, then that gives us 24. And then from there, we can use that number to double. Let's say 3 times 2 is 6, and we're going to take that same partner factor, the 24, and cut it in half, divide by 2, and that gives us 12. And then for the last one, I'm going to double 4, which is 8, and then have its partner. So divide 18 by 2, which is 9. So there we have all of the factors for 72. This will give you kind of a little bit of a head start, or if you're just really stuck and trying to think of all of the factors of a number, then this is a little handy tool for you to kind of get going and find other factors that belong to that number. Let's try another one. Let's factor 108. Okay, so again, we're going to start with 1 times 108. That's always going to be our baseline, our starting line. And then just like we did before, we can double one number and we can have the other number. Now you notice that 108 is an even number. So for this number, to work with this method, it has to be even to be able to divide it by 2. So we're trying to find whole numbers here. So 1 times 2 is 2, half of 108 is 54. Okay, then we can do that same thing again. We can double 2, then we can take half of 54, which is 27. Okay, and again, we can use the triple and thirds rule as well. So again, if we start with 1 and we triple that times 3, that's 3. And because 108 can be evenly divisible by 3, that's the reason why this one works. So 108 divided by 3 is 36. Right? So that's why that one works. We can continue on in this way. So double 3 is 6. Then we're going to take that partner factor and find half of it, so half of 36 is 18. Okay, so let's say that I think that 8 is a factor of 108, because if I double 4, then that gives me 8. But its partner, 27, is an odd number, so I can't divide that in half evenly, so this pair is not going to work. And 8 is actually not a factor of 108. So let's back up and find something else that is. Another factor of 8 is 9, so I can multiply by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. I'm going to take that same partner factor, 36, because 36 can be divided by 3 and gives us 12. So 9 and 12 is another pair for 108. So I hope this little tool helps you. It will certainly help to find factors for numbers, especially larger numbers, when you're really getting stuck and you, when you don't know all of those factors by heart. I hope that this will help you at least find some more of those factors in addition to many other methods of finding factors.
others. Please like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.